Hey guys, today we will review active uh, cell balancer or equalizer. I've got this from uh, eBay. It's a nine cells version. That means we can connect from uh, two cell to nine cell battery pack. And the um, price for this is about $22. And it's claiming that it can balance with uh, up to 1.2 amps. Uh, and uh, it's active balancer. Active means that um, in case we have battery, for example, let's let's take this example. It's six cells battery. So in case we have one cell undercharged, active balancer will get power from rest of the cells and transfer this energy from a lower cell. So in the end of balancing, we will have. Uh, about this level of energy on all cells. So all cells is going to be equal. Uh, in, uh, in this example, when all cells are lower voltage and one cell is uh, uh, charged. So in this case, active balancer or equalizer supposed to get energy from this cell and transfer to rest of cells. Also some BMSs, for example, charge BMS using passive balancer that means if we connect this passive balancer to scenario to this battery it will burn energy from cells from one to five it will just burn energy and entire battery pack after balance uh, is finished will be at this level same here if we connect passive balancer here it will burn energy to uh, on, on cell number six to, to bring it to this level In documentation uh, in the description for this item so it's claiming that accuracy for balancing is 30 millivolts and this item works with all type of lithium batteries to test we'll perform four tests uh, first one is going to be um, cell number six is going to be lower voltage uh, second test cell number three and then um, on a third test I will, char I will discharge all cells and leave one cell uh, fully charged and test number four. To, char to, test, um, this to test this item, I'm going to use this lithium polymer battery. It's a one amp hour battery with six cells. And then I'm going to use this uh, battery monitor to track uh, cell voltage. For, for testing, for every test, I will allow balancer to, to work for two hours minimum. So every test uh, battery is going to be connected to uh, balancer for two hours. And if indicator after two hours, if indicator will display that balancing still happening, then I will continue test. So it's going to be uh, two hours minimum and maximum till point when balancer saying it, it finished balancing. Theoretically, if it can do 1.2 amps, that means it can balance this battery in one hour because it's only one amp hour battery. All right, let's start our tests. Okay, so we're starting our first test. I'm connecting battery to one to monitor and every test will start with voltage difference one volt plus so we see cell number six is discharged to 318 and we start in our first test and I'm connecting battery I'm connecting battery to balancer and we leave this for two hours Okay, so when we connect it, we see that uh, it displays that uh, it's transferring power from cell number four to five, from five to six. We have these two uh, LEDs active. So I'm going to leave this here and we'll come back in two hours and see where we are. Alright, so two hours later, 
all indicators on balancer is, uh, is off. That means it's finished, it's balancing. Let's see result. Okay, so result is, um, we can see that voltage, uh, highest and lowest vol voltage difference is 124 uh, millivolts. And uh, all cells, it looks like first cell is the highest charged and then it's going lower, lower, lower and lower. So we can see results here. This was test number one. Now I'm going to rebalance this battery charge all cells, discharge cell number three to, to have one volt difference and we will start test number two. Okay, so we are at uh, test number two. Let's connect all items together. So I'm going to connect battery. Connect this to our monitor. All right, and uh, we can see that that all cells uh, is 4.2, 16, 17, 16, 16, and one cell is 3, two, uh, three volts, uh, 255 millivolts, and cell difference is 962 millivolts. Okay, and now we can connect our balancer. That's interesting. When I connected to for test number two, I see it's somehow dumping. Looks like it's dumping energy to cells which is not connected. So seven, eight, nine cells is not connected, but it's doing something here. All right. So let's wait for two hours and see results. Okay, so two hours passed and I see that it's still balancing, it's transferring from cell two to three. And let's see what we, what we have here. So we can see that cells difference after two hours is 91 millivolts. Cell number three is still the lowest cell in the pack. Oh, and actually it just, it's just finished to balancing. So after two hours, here is the result. Okay, now I'm going to recharge, um, recharge this battery, balance all cells, and bring bring it to state for test number three. All right, so battery uh, is uh, prepared for test number three. Let's connect them together. So we can see that cell voltage difference is one volt. Uh, cell number six is the highest charged and all cells were discharged. Okay, we're going to leave as always for two hours and uh, come back in two hours and see where we are. So two hours uh, after two hours, let's see results. This finished balancing, and again is uh, in test number two. Looks like it's still doing like something with the cells which is not connected. Six, uh, seven, eight, nine, and uh, here is our results. Cell voltage difference three hundred thirty-eight millivolts. Six number cell is still uh, uh, most highly charged, is it's a uh, highest voltage cell, 377. Lowest cell is cell number one, it's uh, 343. Okay, let's, let's do next test. I will, uh, I will rebalance this battery, discharge all cells, charge cell number three to 4.2 volts, maximum voltage, and then we'll repeat, uh, repeat all steps. We'll see where it's gonna go. Okay, so pack is rebalanced. Let's see voltages in some cells. Uh, 
So we're moving to test number four and right now cell voltage difference is 1.7 uh, 1 volt over 1 volt. Cell number three is fully charged and all cells is uh, discharged at about same level. So I'm going to connect the balancer. Okay, and set timer for two hours. Time is almost up for test number four, but looks like we're still balancing and let's see where we are. Actually, it's doing pretty good. We have uh, at this time 136 millivolts voltage difference and looks like voltage from cell was distributed about equally across cells, but it's still balancing. So give this, uh, let's give maybe 30 more minutes and see what we'll get. So after 15 additional minutes, this balancer stopped working, so now it's not indicating that any balancing is happening. And let's see where we are at the test number four. So cell vol voltage difference is uh, one, 178 millivolts and cell number three is still hi uh, highest cell in the battery pack. And you can see the results. Now I'm going to combine uh, table with all four results and you can see how this item behaves at every test. If you like this test, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment video. And if you want to see any additional testing on this balancer, let me know. Thank you for watching and see you later.